Okay. Over here at the Jackson, Mississippi Post Office, Delta Station. Inspection Service put out a memo August 24th uh, telling you guys it was okay. Your poster or inspector will know about it. It's also right here on your wall, Poster 7. Poster 7, yeah. Yeah, Rules and Regulations Governing Conduct on Postal Property. Okay, so you, you, uh, PS4 now? Oh, we're just here to uh, gather some content for a yeah. story. Yeah, document the building, see how That's business it. is going, that sort of thing. We donate our time to the, the Postmaster General and we put these videos up and that way they can see how the facilities are, are operating and everything, what it looks like, the conditions, the upkeep. Yeah. Okay, who, who gave you permission though to come in with the camera? Post Postmaster seven. General. The Postmaster yeah. General. It's yeah. on Poster 7. Right are you here. familiar with your Poster 7? It's right here. I mean, the post the postmaster is welcome to come up here and talk to us. You have to go down town to the postmaster that you're to the, the, I mean, the postmaster is more than welcome to come up here, but but. The postmaster is the main post office. You have to get permission. No, ma'am, not not according to poster seven. We already have permission, honey. Is your is your postmaster here in the building? She's on the phone. I can talk to her if you want. I mean, if she'd like to come up here and talk to us, that's perfectly fine. But I, I shouldn't have to go across town for that. She's out of the room express. I mean, we're going to go to the downtown she post office. She's going to sit outside until she comes. Sit outside the building. Because well, you cannot have that in here until she comes. Well, it's it, again. It's it's not up to her. Okay. It's, it's right here. It's it's uh, it's literally right there. Yeah. Right at the bottom on the second paragraph, or the second column. Photographs huh? for news, advertising, or commercial purposes. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a. Does she want? I can read it to her right here. She don't want you to read. She just wants you to step outside. You step out in the line until she comes. I would like the postmaster respectfully to uphold the. Rules and regulations of the post office. That's all I want. Yeah. Well, finish doing your business. Mm -hmm. We're fine. Yeah. I'm going to buy a stamp. I need to, you know, definitely got to get a stamp.
Can I get a stamp, please? Sir, I'm so sorry. I don't have, uh, I can't change the $20 bill. Okay. I don't, um, I, it's just that everybody can bring the large bills, and I'm the only one. Can I, can I do tap to pay for? Uh, yeah, you okay. Okay, I'll just do that. Stamp. Which kind did you get? The purple heart. Purple heart. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. That got upside down. Yeah. I knew I had um couldn't forget my stamp while I was in here. That's this very very important thing right now to get this court file and stuff. Oh. Some of these cards are nice. I guess some really nice cards here. They are, yeah. I've noticed every uh, every post office has nice little assortment. Usually they have gift cards too. A lot of times they have like three of them. Oh yeah, I mean they make extra money. They yep. Sell them. Yep. So might as well. That's pretty cool. It's like origami, origami thing. Sometimes it's hard to see these ones in back. Oh, that is flower, yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, some of the same cards I see in the post office by my place, and then other ones I don't. This flamingo is pretty mm -hmm. nice. I just was waiting on that lady to give her a call back. I mean, all we're asking is for them just to uphold their own rules. Read them. Know them. No excuse not to know them. That's really cool, like wood carving. It is. Or maybe it's plaster. Could be plaster. Like a mold. Pluribus uno. Pretty neat. I was just reminded I actually have papers to sign off for to get at the post office in Oxford. Um, too bad I can't pick them up here while I'm here. Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah, it's a lot cooler in here. A lot cooler. Up here, you'll see uh, a fine example of. You know, they're always recording us, but it is a major issue if we record them. 
I'm a big fan of, uh, of having your own record. I don't believe in leaving things only in somebody else's hands, subjective hands. Hi there, how are you? Alright. Looks like they're ignoring customers in here. Yeah. I mean, you cannot argue with Poster 7. To not even want to look at Poster 7 and you're a post office employee just screams. Ignorance, honestly. You know, we try to try to point out the, the governing doctrine. Right here. That post your seven. So a uh, reminder right there. If you're on postal property, don't be caught with a gun. They're gonna already violate your second amendment rights for being on post office property. Like crime discriminates. I believe that people exercising their constitutional rights to carry would keep the rest of society safe. Texas has it figured out. Hey dude, let me go, uh, go get my drink out of the car. I can use that. It's a pretty day today though. You gotta admit, it's a, it's a pretty day outside. Beautiful over here in Jackson. I'd say it's about what about 70 degrees? Yeah, somewhere close to that. So, I'm going to tell you, I think uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and recommend that if you're going to do this, one way that helps you out here at the post office is if you're actually a there for business purposes other than just filming. If you buy a stamp, you certainly have the reason for coming up to the post office. And now you're just exercising the rights that they, uh, they have listed.
So it's great to have Rogue Nation out here. I uh, I thought that was uh, pretty interesting getting here, just jumping right into the action over at, uh, over at MDOC. And then I'm outside trying to get my battery pack onto here. And I come inside and she's already fully engaging me. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing in here? It's a flag. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. Yep. Huh? It is. That flag beat up. They need a new one. Yeah, see, here's my thing. It, it's that important to them about this whole, you know, not recording. The, if it's that important to the postmaster, why should we have to drive across town? If it's that important, they should drive over here and try to make their case why it's that important. Because, I mean, it's, it's listed out right here on this, on this page. But we have to assume that she's coming over. Either that or she called. Or she called the or or she called the police. And either or. Well, I'm not gonna wait here all day. I'm, I'm not gonna wait here all day. Yeah, yeah. She either called the post inspector and they told her we're good. And she called back to this lady or. Yep. Or she's on her way over or whatever. But right. I only wait so long. No. Yeah. Definitely. You know, the one thing about these, about these audits that's so great, and I put this in a letter to the mayor of Coldwater, is it points out major deficiencies that this has given you the opportunity to correct. It's naming it out and giving you the opportunity to correct so that you don't run into a big legal snag in the future. If this can save the city from costly lawsuits because it just puts some eyes, you know, shed some, shed some light on yeah. some things, then that just helped you. So where else we got on the list after here? Um, there's a juvenile detention center down south. Yeah. And there's the post office downtown. Right. There's the airport. Airport's good for 
you know, after five o'clock, whenever mm -hmm. everywhere else closes. <clears throat> what about what about city or what about either the governor's building? We got well the governor's mansion. Not the governor's mansion. The uh, the capital. The state down here. The state, yeah. I mean, we can go there, but I usually don't have any problems when I go to state yeah. houses. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. I mean, there's used to you know tourists all the time coming in and taking pictures. And well, as a journalist, there are questions that I would love to ask both the governor as well as the attorney general. I think both of them at this point have questions that need to have answers, and all they all that's happened has been obstruct, obstruct, you know, put off, refuse to even, you know, look at. What just happened in there is a prime example of what's happening down here with the governor and the state attorney general. You try to tell them, hey, look, it's right here. It allow, you know, this allows you. You try to, you try to go to them with the issues that, that I've had. If what I'm saying is true, and they know this, if what I'm saying is, is true and I have the evidence of it, then them going after it, them investigating it, means it's going to cost the state a lot of money because the lawsuits. You know, so they're protecting a, a golden goose egg right there. You know, they're, they're, they have effectively defeated the due course of justice in multiple courts, um, and it set a horrible, horrible precedence. If this stuff is not immediately dealt with, I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I swore a lifelong oath to protect and defend our Constitution. That oath never expires. No matter when I, I got out, the oath doesn't say it's only good for the time you know, that you're in the service. You swear that for life, basically, because you could give your life while you're in the military, you know, following their orders. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the state can literally turn the gun on one of its own citizens oh, that, all the time. that pledged a lifelong oath to defend, to uphold and defend the Constitution, what can it do to anybody else? If it can, if it can do that to, to someone that that made that pledge, it sets bad precedents. Yeah, it doesn't need to be allowed. It needs to be stomped out immediately. Well, I mean, that's a bigger fight than we can take. It's on. a lot bigger fight than we can take on. I agree. I agree. But still, it's like there should be questions that should be accounted for. Just kicking the can down the road and ignoring it. And acting like the calls aren't coming, you know, aren't aren't being made, the, the reports of it aren't being done. They're basically ignoring it and and just just gaffing it off. So as a journalist, I would love I would love to be outside when they walk out as a journalist and try to press in because I believe that that doesn't add up. Something right there. You know, we're out to point out the corruption. But and you know how they do it, right? The underground yeah. garage. Like, you, 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 yeah. know, you never see yeah. the government. Even if they were there and we were able to ask that question, they still wouldn't answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. So, of course. Of course. Yeah, so. They'll always deflect somebody else. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, well, you must have talked to my secretary. I never got the message. Right. Yeah. Hey. Move around, watch this thing how it follows you. It's badass, dude. Like I locked it on. It's actually, I think you maxed it out on that direction. So walk back that way. And there we go. Oh, yeah. So you're on camera, man. Yeah, boy. Woo. Hey, how's you doing? Good, how's you doing? Found anything yet? No, she's not called laid back now. Okay. I told her she can call the local postal inspector. Well, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we found out from our postmaster that you're right. Poster Stefan does exist, and it does cover. All right. What, what, what does that mean? Is that like 20 more minutes? Or? Okay. No, not you, ma'am. She can she can help you. Yes, yeah, you can help. You can help. She can help you. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna wait for a minute. All right. This is the lobby, ma'am. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll step out until she gets here. But but I, we're allowed in here. We're allowed to be in here. Even with customers. That's right. <coughs> Ignorance is not an excuse. Whenever we, you know, whenever it's your own policy, post office, it's your own policy, but you got to call a postmaster down here just to look at your own policy. Shame on you. Shame on you. So where we're at, this is this is actually the, I guess this is the better part of Jackson, um, you could say, compared to where we've driven through on the way out here. Um, I mean, you can still tell it's poor as heck, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Look at these cobwebs up there, dude. Exactly. Those things have been here for years. Those guys are paying rent up there. So, <laughs> I mean... That ain't for Halloween. That shit's been up there for a couple of years. I'll tell you another thing that I'm shocked at is uh, the fact that they really don't have a second entrance further down than the first. Is that not a fire code violation to not have basically two different exits? I, mean, I thought most post offices I go to have a side door right down the hallway. Well, yeah, if it's big enough, but I mean, I've been in post offices that would fit inside that lobby in there, yeah. you know what I mean? So, I have too, I have too, so yeah. So it's, it's not mandatory that they have two two entrances. Right. So it, it goes all by square footage and, and all that stuff. I'm sure they're up to fire code on that. Yeah, I've only seen one video. I think it was uh, maybe the Amagansett Press, mm -hmm. but they actually went and they permanently fixed the deadbolt on one of the doors so they started pitching a fit because you know they were in there in the lobby filming and they called the police well amgen's press calls the fire marshal <laughs> now makes it a another reason for being up there on the property because they don't have you know they're they're not in compliance with the fire code. that's funny it's hilarious because, uh, and I think if I remember correctly, the fire the fire marshal didn't even show up. He uh, he was out of town or something and didn't want to waste his time. But that's you ever see him again? Oh yeah, yeah. I used to watch a lot of his stuff. Hi there. Hi, yes, ma'am. We tried to we we were just simply trying to get y'all to enforce your poster seven. Yeah. Um, the employee wouldn't even look at poster seven where we were um, actually pointing out. and uh, To be honest with you, I'd, are you familiar with Poster 7? Well, the manager will be here in a minute. Okay. But, uh, we thought you were the manager. No, I'm the supervisor. He's the well, supervisor. Well, yeah. the what, about, what about the postmaster? Poster 7. The postmaster right is, is uh, downtown. Okay. You, uh, the, each post office doesn't have their own postmaster? Well, we have a manager here, but each post office in Jackson is up on a one postmaster. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, 
August 24th, the United States Postal Inspection Service did a mandatory stand-up talk mm -hmm. about filming and post offices. Right. Oh, so you got that. Uh -huh. Okay, so you know that it says that we're allowed to be in the lobbies and record and to leave us alone and only if we're interrupting business by like standing in the doorway or trying to get personal information, that sort of stuff that we're pretty much to be left alone. And I actually bought a stamp. You know, I was a, I came in here with a purpose. Yeah, it's and part of federal law. It's right, it's right on your wall. It's on there. It's on so who did y'all say seen? Huh? Who sent you? Yeah, got it. We're in, we're in we're independent investigative journalists. Journalists. Oh, journalists. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, we're okay. we're actually down here. We're actually down here. Um, we've got reports of public, you know, spouts of public corruption. You know, corruption not here, not among here. business. Not here specifically. We were just coming over here because this was, you know, we were over here in the area and we wanted to document your. But um, well, usually, when somebody comes, we have to report it to the postman. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. I mean, y'all are free they, to they report the way. Yeah. They should have got that same stand up talk. And the problem was, is because, and I've been doing post offices for years. And the problem was, is that we were coming around and filming, and people didn't realize that we were able to, and they were calling the police and making a big to do out of it. And that's why they put that memo out. They said, you know, they did 500 videos last year, 450 this year, you know, that, that we've done. Oh, this banana here. Oh, okay, great. Hey, hey how you doing, hon? Hi, uh, we, We're just explaining this hey lady. The Postal Inspection Service just put out a, a mandatory stand-up talk August 24th this year about filming in the post office. But even besides that, on your poster 7 right there on your wall, the rules and regulations of the post post office, mm -hmm. it says that we're allowed to take pictures in the, in the lobbies and foyers and corridors of the post office. As long as we're not obstructing any business, blocking the door, or as long as we're not getting any personal information. Like, they don't want us, you know, on the counter while somebody's putting in their credit card. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's common sense. Yeah, we would not We would never fail. I understand. Y'all post employees? No. No, we're independent journalists. Yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. um, you just are you? have to understand it's, uh, it, we, we haven't, we, we have no precedent for this. Right, it's unusual. It's the first time it's happened. We're just all we're asking is for y'all to uphold your own policy on poster seven. That's why it's there. It's the it's yeah, the it's, right on the it's, wall. A, it's a, actually so mandatory. You're independent journalist. Yes, ma'am. On the if you look at I work for Activism News Network. Is the media company and in and in America we have freedom of the press. So to be honest with you, you don't even have to have a news company so long as you're gathering news and disseminating news to the public. You're considered you're considered. This is true. Press. Yeah. But it's, it's right there on your wall, right next to that PC poster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the postal inspector, he, you know, he'll he'll definitely know because the postal inspector, as you know, he handles the laws of the post office. Right. Right. So if there's any confusion, you can always talk to them. They'll they'll be able to clear it up. How you? I mean, I don't think that's asking too much. You know, let's just, okay, let's call it what it is. Let's just read the poster. Why is it such a big issue to read the poster? It's clear that the well, supervisors they... and the postmasters refuse to even learn about their own <coughs> policies. That is that is the level they're fighting this. We need to call somebody. Just please read it. Do you know what it is? Well, even read when it. They, even when they read it, they misinterpret it. So it, it almost never helps because on the poster 7 it says, Unless directed by authorized representative, well, right, right, they all think they're you know, authorized, right, right. So I mean, reading it really doesn't, really doesn't help. In no. very few instances, it has helped, but most likely they're just like, well, it says right here, I can tell you to leave, blah blah blah, and I'm like, no, that's it's only if I've done something else like disorderly conduct mm -hmm. or obstructed, you know, business or yep, loss, loss hard for people. They yeah. didn't think it's hard for people, so they it is. just go the easy route and be done with it, you know? You know what? I forgot to get those, uh, forgot to put those glasses on.
The ones he had last time. Oh, yeah. I love those. Love them. You know that guy had a big WTF moment when he came outside and just saw you with the got the hang down mustache. It was like a mustache hanging down. Yeah. They they didn't go with that. No, ma'am, I just got your uh, your number from the postmaster. Okay. Well, well do you guys have... Uh, what, what's the name of your um, company again? It's no, we don't have tre press passes because they're... Honestly, one doesn't exist. Nobody... I mean, you can, we can make our own, but... Um, and I have made my own, but yeah. I'm with Activism News Network. But in America, any citizen can be a journalist if they disseminate the information to the public. To the public. Gather news okay. and disseminate it to the public. That's right. No. Yeah, that's fine. No, we've been very, okay. Yeah, we've been very... Okay, that's, I just need to verify it. Because, like I said, if we didn't have this, it, it didn't offer huh? before. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. And you gentlemen, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Get your soda. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Do one more. Through here, tell this young lady thank you for oh, yeah. being so kind. Man, thank you. You have a blessed day. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and right now they're wondering exactly why did that just happen? <laughs> like what just what just really went on over here? It's education, folks. It's not uh, we weren't there to try to be a dick or anything. It's their rules that they clearly don't know about, don't want to know about, a lot of them. But you have some that do the right thing. Now the great thing is, these people were educated today. So this does not become a problem again.